Hey guys, and welcome to the Josh Mods channel. We're going to be going to the Red Hot Chili Peppers tomorrow, having a best time for this 2023 year of the musicians. Red Hot Chili Peppers are playing tonight. Everyone's going. It's one of those concerts, you know, you can't miss the Red Hot Chili Peppers when they come to town. That would be stupid because one day they're just not going to be a band anymore. And you've got to see the Red Hot Chili Peppers once, you know, once in your life. What do you think, Daniel? <laughs> Uh, he's <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> My friend and fellow musician Ollie Crooks has just messaged me today asking if uh, I want to play keyboard for his album release show party which is tomorrow night i don't have much time at all to learn the material because we've got the concert tonight and tomorrow is my sister's birthday so you know the family is we're doing all these all these things with the family so and then the show is the following day on saturday so i really don't have much time to learn the material so i'm, I'm actually just going to meet him now in brighton just going to grab the nord which is in my flat All right, I've arrived in Brighton. It's a beautiful sunny day. I hear the beach, it's right there, but I can't swim in it. I wish I could. I wish I could just jump in. I don't have my togs, damn it. Anyway, we've got work to do. <laughs> we've got like 13 tunes to learn in like two days. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet spot, hey? Yeah. Hi. What's your vision for it? Is it gonna be like a recording studio? Or? Yeah, eventually, man, it's gonna be. Gonna be a recording studio, pretty exciting. Yeah, and it looks just like a jam room. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I like what you've done to the walls. It's Thanks, bro. really sick. Yeah. yeah, I need to find a good organ sound on here. Um, yeah. You know, I'm open to other sounds as well. Okay. Just whatever you find that sounds cool. All right. So, yeah, sharp minor. Yeah. Yeah. The issue for me isn't technical stuff, like my technical ability is really good so I'm able to like jump in and figure stuff out quite easily. I think the challenge is just having you know 13 tunes and memorizing like what parts of what tune in such a short amount of time I think that is probably the one the one challenge for me. Oh you're ready you got some roadies? Oh Sarah. <laughs> All right we're heading in. The show starts in like when? In like an hour. Uh, We've caught up with the greater hit. <laughs> Are we sure? Do we hear that? Yeah, but that's small. It's the biggest line I've ever seen, but that's not that bad. How about you, Daniel? What's the biggest line you've been in? The line for these nuts. <laughs> All right, we're finally in after that long line. I'm leaving the crew because I want to go up close. I want to get a good spot. Hey, what's up? Howdy do. <laughs>
I just wanted to say uh, thank you so much for the fucking love to me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited for her, but she Yo! That was so loud. How was it? <laughs> also in an hour I can legally. I it can was legally buy alcohol. An what? hour. One hour one I can hour. legally buy alcohol. You turned 18 in one hour. I turned 18 in one hour. Oh, what? Yeah, man. What was your favorite song? Tim and said she's parkouring her way out. What? <laughs> What's your uh, favorite? What California yeah, California. Really? Oh, no. Nah. It's got to be by the way. That was oh, so that was good. good. Oh my god, that concert was insane. Uh, I'm so glad that they came to town, you know. Like, the Red Hot Chili Peppers were definitely my favorite band for a good four years, maybe. Early teenage years. I absolutely loved the Chilis. I learned a lot of my drumming from Chad Smith. I would always listen to the Chilis while, like, we were doing these road trips, and I would be, like, doing these just air drumming, air drumming, like, to love songs like Give It Away, you know? Yeah, I'd say Chad Smith is probably one of the biggest influences on me as a musician because I, I just learned a lot of drumming stuff from him early on. There was this moment when John and Flea had this, like, duo thing before Californication where they were just, like, jamming out. They were improvising something. And you can tell they had this, like, synergy going on. Yo, Daniel, what did you think of the Chilis? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, like genuinely, what did she think? Uh, fucking, I saw them in like 2018 or 2019. Yeah, way better than that performance, probably because of John. Yeah, the jamming bits in between the songs, freaking like off the cuff, unreal. Uh, Post Malone was fucking amazing. Oh yeah, true. Uh, I forgot to talk about Post Malone. But yeah, fucking definitely one of the top gigs I've been to. Um, yeah, yeah. I fucking loved it. I had a great time. All right, Sarah, what what did you think of the Chilies? So good, bro. <laughs> Oh my god, killed it. Post Malone killed it. Yeah. Um, loved it. So What was good. your favourite part? I, okay, I love Post Malone because, like, I have really seen him. So I'm going to use one of that to cast, to use that one's ability so I can get a mountain and then that's a forest and then the extra one from that so I can bring him in. Yo, there was a freaking guy, there was someone in the cr in the audience of Post Malone who was holding a sign that said like, Please sign my Magic the Gathering card. I'm just practicing some Holy Crook stuff while I can. The, the, the show is tomorrow. 
Ollie just messaged me uh, saying that the band is jamming at four o'clock and I can actually make that. I've got a spare hour. Sir, what do you think about the recent? What do you think about the recent? The the, the, the recent allegations about the um that that, that famous guy. What do you think? What do you think? Do you, think? Do you have an opinion, sir? I need your opinion. What did you think about the Red Hot Chili Peppers in Dunedin? What did you think about the Red Hot Chili Peppers in Dunedin? Did you enjoy the show? Or did you not? <laughs> minute practice in before the show tonight um yeah just going over all of the different songs got the set list here and see i'm making making notes on the chords uh, of the different tunes yeah i'm just trying to like get the right sounds on the nord you know for each different song there's some songs that have some more more nuanced like keyboard sounds so i'm just trying to like lock in the right sounds that i want to use on the nord hey guys getting uh josh on the keys but he's stuck He's a, he's a beast, so it's going to be a good <laughs> I'm stoked to play for you. Yeah. I, honestly, I love your music, so it's, it's an honor to play with you. It's a funny gig, like, you're going to be running out last minute for tickets, but we still got a week ago. True, so, so how many, what's the capacity? Like, how many people are going to be there? We sold 110, so. Oh, nice. I successfully charted the whole set list with chords. Yo, I got this new, uh, this new cool shirt. I felt like I didn't have enough stage fit and I, I literally just bought this. I, I bought these new pants today and I bought this new shirt today and I felt like I wanted some new stage fit because I'm going on stage for the first time in 2023 tonight. I'm super excited. Like the sound check was great. Things are sounding good. I'm happy with what I'm playing. I'm happy with the sounds I've got on the Nord. The band is top notch. These musicians are elite. It feels good. I'm so excited. Uh, you know, here I am just talking to myself in the mirror. So I better go off and, and uh, head up, head over to Brighton. Let's go to Brighton.
Sunday today. The week's all over. The gig last night was like so much fun. I love Ollie's music so much. I've always loved his music. Honestly, he's literally like one of the best musicians in New Zealand. I'm not joking. He is a phenomenal musician and songwriter. His music is so good and as a fan of his music, to be up there playing the keyboard as well, it was such a surreal experience just being up there playing my favorite Ollie Crook songs, like on the keys. <laughs> it feels great for me to be able to like be in this position as a keyboard player to like jump in on a session like that and just like play a show. Listen, if you're not listening to Ollie Crooks already, go and check him out, Flesh and Bone on Spotify. This guy's a genius, man. His music is so good. I'll, I'll put the link in the description. Check it out. Flesh and Bone, Ollie Crooks, Spotify. Yeah, anyway, that's all. That's all we got this week, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to vibe and subscribe. I hope you have a beautiful day, a beautiful week. Play as much music as you can. Listen to as much music as you can. And I'll see you later. See you next time. Bye-bye.